There it is. Look at it. It's a beast. This is so much fun. Are you ready? I'm not experienced enough for this yet. <laughs> What happened there? Good morning to you all and uh, welcome to a new chapter of the uh, Nigel Street Vlogs and it's going to feature this, the sea -Doo. Uh, something I've been wanting to get for a long time and I finally picked it up yesterday and it's now here. Uh, pardon the mess by the way, uh, I did clean this garage out uh, a few weeks back in, in, in anticipation for my sea -Doo arriving. Then my wife shows up and ends up putting a Christmas tree in here, some kind of fake one. The bikes ended up back in here. Uh, swimming pool stuff and old patio stuff and her yeah stuff like that first thing first we've got to get the sea dew hooked up onto the trailer and today is the day i'm going to take it out for the very very first time and i'm absolutely pumped put the pin back in that stops the ball joint from jumping up cross them over Two, and the power cord. Right, check, that's on, that's on, that's secured, that's locked away. There it is, look at it, it's a beast. Our first proper look at it today in the sunlight. I'll have to take this off before I travel so it doesn't blow off in the wind. I put the, um, the storage bin in last night. This is a removable one. You can actually just, I still got the tag on it, <laughs> idiot. So this pulls out completely, I can put all my stuff in, take it, carry it around like a bag. I'm gonna buy the other one that goes here, which is the organizer, which you actually install. That's gonna be the next thing I buy. Uh, fuel tank is here, of course. My safety kit is here. Uh, my fire extinguisher and closes my Garmin Fish Pro and depth finder controls and everything. I didn't get sound, um, I'm not really into the sound, I'm quite happy to listen to the ocean, well, sorry, the lake and natural. But mind you, I may purchase the sound at the end of the year, ready for next season. We'll see how it goes. All right, on our way, uh, it's one thing you know. I met a guy online, I uh, wanted to see do forums uh, back in the winter, uh, I've been chatting regularly with him. And uh, last night he offered to take me out. It's safer to go out with someone who uh, knows what they're doing for the very uh, for the first time or so. So I took him up on that opportunity, and he's meeting me today. We're going to go to uh, Point Abino and launch from there, and he's going to meet me. He's a local guy, lives in Port Coburn, so I appreciate his help. And um, the funny thing is, like I've told you before, I've never ridden a CD before. Um, yeah, I, I bought this without even sitting on one. So uh, I'm really, really pumped about doing this. Really excited. Thirteen degrees Celsius, so that's uh, 50, about fifty-six degrees Fahrenheit. So it's just as well I'm wearing a full wetsuit today. Uh, it's not quite uh, shorts and t-shirt weather just yet. So full wetsuit for sure. I may have to put a balaclava over my head depending on how cold it is out on the lake. Right, just gonna wait for the guy to show up. Never done this before, so uh, <laughs> don't make a tit of myself, do I? Hey guys. Good. Beautiful. Make the most of it. Andrew Ski, he's got a sea do spark. And I'll put my phone in here and my car keys so I don't lose them. Now have a look. <laughs> yes. We're ready to rock and roll. Right, my official first ride with uh, my companion over here, Andrew, is going to show me the ropes because I've never done this before. 
Uh, I am nervous because uh, this is quite powerful just by touching it. So uh, yeah, here it goes. It's, uh, <laughs> it's trying to christen me here. We're going straight out? Sure. Sure? All right, here it goes. So shallow here. <laughs> Sounds good. Six months of waiting and I finally got it. Here it goes. So many a good adventures. Oh my god! This is going to be so much fun this summer! On this side of the uh, the Palmwood here, the boat launch. I'm usually videoing all of my stuff from over there, and now I get to see it from this side. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the boat ramp is still closed here, as you can see. So, all right, it's Point Abano Lighthouse. Now, if you remember, last year I did a video with Tegan. And uh, we kayaked along here, and now we're just quiet. But the water does get a lot shallower down there. It was 30 feet, we're now down to uh, 15 feet here. And I know it's like knee depth over there, so I don't want to go too close. Uh, Pope Coburn is in the distance. I can see Sugar uh, Loaf just there. And Shirkston's around the corner, so let's go. Let's have a... The way's a little choppier out here, so I've been bouncing around pretty good. Yeah, it goes really shallow there, it's like knee depth. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you want to make sure we go wide. <laughs> well, there's the marker out there. Oh yeah. That's, uh, that's... Oh yeah, okay. Oh. How clear that is. Yeah. What's it say? Eight. Yeah, it's getting it really like that. Yeah, it's getting really shallow here. Listen to how quiet it is. It's so, so peaceful. We're not too far away from the shore there. It's only 10 feet of water. But it's just nice to just stop the engine and just bounce around. It's nice. Um, it's not too bad temperature wise. I mean, it's still wetsuit weather. Literally, another 100 meters out here, you can really feel the difference in the air. It really drops uh, about, by about two or three degrees. So right here, right now, it's actually quite warm again. <laughs> He's ordering Timbits. He's got a friend coming out with Charlie, bringing his coffee. He just remembered he wants a Timbit, so we have to order Timbits now. This is so much fun. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. All right.
I'm nearly 50 years old. It's a horrible thing to say, but it's true. I'm nearly 50 and uh, I grew up by the ocean and I've always had a fascination with water. And I always said one day I'll get myself a boat. But about two years ago, I decided it wasn't a boat I wanted. It was more of a jet ski, but I didn't know which one. And I spent the summer last year looking at so many different jet skis. And then uh, I originally looked at the GTI. And probably around about July, August is when I first saw the GTX. And that's when I knew that's what I wanted. I started watching loads of videos um, from Yukon, Bob on YouTube and uh, Mark Forrest, uh, to name a couple. And then he's, uh, I think he's Charlie, he's called in the UK. He has a GTX as well. And I was like, that is what I want. That is what I want. So uh, I made a decision in November and I ordered one. And he's here. And I don't regret it one little bit. Not one bit. Bike, so no way I'm doing that. I ain't no way I'm doing it. Not at all. He's, he's got an advantage by riding the dirt bike. So, uh, and many years on the water more than me. <laughs> all right, we've entered the Niagara River. So yeah, we just entered it right now. So this is the mouth of the Niagara River. This takes you all the way to Niagara Falls. But we're not gonna go there, of course. But maybe one day uh, in the near future, I'll come down here and do a trip and go down to Chippewa uh, from this way. It'll be kind of nice and do the Niagara River.
What happened there? This ain't good. Um, CD just died. Out in the middle of the bloody lake. I just slowed down. I was about to stop, and also it made a spluttering sound, and now it's I got no power. It says press start, but nothing happens. It's uh, dead, and it keeps making this chunking sound, chunk. Like the engine's trying to kick over. <laughs> now I'm f***ing stuck. This is not good. For f sake. That happened to mine. So if I put the key in, Press start. No, dead, nothing. Yeah. Probably just, just the battery. Gee. It's gonna be a long ride home. Yeah. <laughs> dead. There you go folks, don't ever come out on a jet ski on your own. There's a reason why you should be out with other people. And this is one of the reasons. So you get a tall and go back. Exactly what I'm doing. Thanks to Matt, friend of Andrew's who just joined this afternoon. And uh, now I get to ride back super slow. It's a long ride back. It sucks. It really does suck. We've got a longer rope. And he's further away, so uh, we're nearly there. I think it's about 10k from where I broke down to where we gotta go. So we're nearly there. I'm really, really, really angry. I mean, what would have happened if I was on my own? I'd have to get the bloody coast guard, which would have been a nightmare. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. Oh well, we'll figure out on Monday what's wrong with it. All right, made it back safely. Thanks to Matt. we pulled it out of the water we can't find anything wrong with it but it's still doing the same ticky 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 sound so uh hooked it back up take it home and we've got to go to oakville now monday morning hopefully it's just a simple computer fault and they can fix it there and there we can get back out but oh it's disappointing it's disappointing now i've got to drive all that way up there oh well I had a blast though, bloody hell, I really did have some fun. Oh, I learned a lot today anyway. Alright, time to go home. <laughs>